guys. So this is my July Costco haul, beginning of the month. Um, haven't been there in a while. So some stuff is new. So I was pretty excited. I spent hours there and I was so excited to see that the food court is back and they let you pump your own man mustard and ketchup. So that was pretty cool. Um, this I always get, the Pecorino Romano. This was $14.82. I love the Pecorino. Um, it doesn't really have that thick rind, although Parmesan, when you have that thick rind, it is nice to add it to soups and stews. But if you don't make a lot of them, you do miss quite a bit of um, cheese there. So that's why I go for the Pecorino. Plus it's made with sheep's milk. Has a, I mean, they both smell very tangy and stuff like that, but I tend to like the Pecorino the best. I uh, got some sharp cheddar cheese. I think this was $6.97. I remember when it was $4.99. Can you believe it? Um, Kerrygold butter. So this is made with grass-fed cows from Ireland. This was $11.99. Um, and then this I've never bought before. Organic virgin toasted sesame oil um, for stir-frying, flavoring, and salad dressings. Uh, now with the CSA in full effect, getting cabbage, there's that Asian, um, Asian kind of like, um, cabbage salad with the ramen noodles in it. Um, I think I made it and taped it, but I'll, I'm going to do it again. That's always a good thing to bring to like potlucks and stuff like that. So, um, I need a toasted sesame oil and this is a pretty big jar uh you know i know you always get these little ones from trader joe's so that's going to probably last me a while and maybe i could figure out other things to make with it got my fresh mozzarella i think it was 7.97 you know so this is the pre-sliced we go through this a lot this i hadn't bought in ages the naan i don't know if you can see that naan and there's a reason why I bought the naan, but um, the boys used to make uh, pizza on it. So they would put um, not only just a t marinara sauce or whatever and cheese, sometimes we just did pesto sauce and mozzarella cheese. So that might make a comeback. We made that ages ago when they were itty bitty. They used to love it. So we haven't made it in such a long time. And then this was new. So on the list was tuna salad. John is the only one that eats tuna. So I bought this one. This one's albacore wild tuna, and it's the white tuna steak. Um, just tuna and sea salt. No water or oil added. Averages 705 milligrams EPA and DHA omega-3s per serving. So I got this for him. Um... Yeah, usually when I get tuna, because he's the only one that eats it, it sits there for a while. And I think there was some cans that were there for quite a while. But now it made it back on the list. So uh, he likes to put it on salad um, and make a, a salad with it. You know, just putting the chunks of the tuna on the salad. So that's good that it's not in water or oil. He doesn't have to drain it. He probably just take it to work and throw it on a salad. So that's really good. And then, of course, he likes the Cape Cod chicken salad. John's favorite. Um, I also bought some tzatziki sauce. Ooh. The Greek... <laughs> oh, flavor, flavor. Ooh. <laughs> I did not know you got that. Ooh, yes, I got, and you'll see why I got that. Okay, so I'm going to cheat and go over here. So I got the tzatziki sauce because I found this. Gyro slices. Fully cooked gyro slices. I am making something with that. Yeah, so see the tzatziki sauce, a little bit of salad stuff, and the gyro slices. So this is the seasoned lamb, I guess. And that's why I got the naan. He's a happy boy. So, that's gyros. Lunch. Yep, that's lunch. that is a lunch, exactly. Because I know you guys, now that, you know, Sean's not in school anymore, it's the summer, lunches. I got stuff for them to make for lunches and stuff. So I thought that was a good thing for lunch. John also likes gyro, so he could bring that to lunch. And speaking of lunch for John, I found this. So I bought this for him. It's a Caesar salad kit with a chicken sandwich on a croissant. 
So I thought that was really cool. He could just take this whole container right to work. This was $7.63. You know, sometimes you buy a sandwich out there. It's like 10 bucks. So here he got a Caesar salad kit and a sandwich. So he could take it to work. That was the only, like the only one. It wasn't like there was different ones with different flavored sandwiches. Then for the muffins, I got the almond poppy seed again. And I believe these are $7.99 for the dozen. But this time I also got a coffee cake one to change it up coffee cake muffin I thought um, you know just change it up a little bit last time I got the almond poppy seeds they lingered a little bit so at least now there's another option because I know John likes coffee cakes too so again he could bring that to work because he's been working a lot um, croissants to make sandwiches with whether it be the Cape Cod chicken sandwich or the tuna option sometimes the boys just like eating that for breakfast just as is nuked oh nuked for like 10 to 12 seconds it's like it tastes like it came right out of the um the oven unbelievable and then when my cousin was here she loved it so that's what she was having for breakfast with puerto rican coffee um then i got these salmon burgers so these are wild caught salmon burgers delicious and sustainable 12 burgers and I got these because the boys do like the cheddar and bacon salmon burgers from Publix. But they're about almost $6 a burger. Sometimes they're on sale for $5 a burger. So I figured, guess what? We can make it ourselves. Um, I got the cheddar. So there's the cheddar. Shred some cheddar, right? Or slice it up. And then I got bacon. So this is the... Kirkland fully cooked bacon so I figured we can put a slice of bacon and then cheddar on top and make it ourselves instead of spending five to seven dollars a burger um I don't remember how much this costs so you'll see it up above yeah so that's a game plan for dinner one day that'll be fun to play with then I got some flank steaks so I got two flank steaks these were $37.66. Yeah, I guess when the summer comes, everything for grilling goes gets higher. Unless COVID did that, I don't know. But $10.29 a pound. So I like to get the two because then you get bigger ones. When you get the three, they're smaller. So I got two big ones. So I'm going to marinate them, put them in freezer bags, and call it a dinner one day. Uh, sorry, it keeps getting blurry. But you get the gist of what this is. Okay, there's my bacon bacon then because it's right before fourth of july weekend there was no fresh ground beef zero zero fresh ground beef you know there were a lot of burgers because i guess that's a popular thing to do but i just wanted ground beef so they had these so these are the chubs but this time it's grass-fed so these were 17.99 but this time you only get four one pound packages instead of five but that was, so I picked up two because I have to make, I'm going to be making those calico beans. I think I made them a year or two ago, but I'm going to make them again. Calico beans. I, we call them mom's baked beans. I call them chili baked beans. So there's so many different names, but this is the grass, the ground beef that they had, the only ground beef that they had. And then, like I said, the boys kind of needed some lunches to grab and, you know, just either toast up in the toaster oven or the air fryer. So I got taquitos, which are $9.99. The pizza snacks, which I think these are $9.99 too. And these we haven't bought in a long time. So Michael said if they were there to get them. And then I I bought these a long time ago too when they were on sale. Um, the little single cheese pizzas and pepperoni pizzas. So they seem to like that. So at least there's lots of lunch options for the boys now. And then vanilla ice cream. So they really like this ice cream. Um, it lasted a while and we finally ran out. So had to get more. So this is a really good ice cream. All natural ingredients, which is what I like. And briars. Stopped doing that and stopped, started adding chemicals 
to their ingredient list, but it's fresh cream, skin milk, sugar, pasteurized egg yolks, vanilla extract, carabine gum, and guar gum. And carabine gum and guar gum basically is fiber. So, from natural sources, from the carabine or the guar plant. So, we are happy with Costco's vanilla ice cream. And then I got some tortelloni. Um, I have some cream left over in my refrigerator, so maybe I'll do Alfredo. Or I was thinking, I do have some mushrooms and peas, and now that I got bacon, I could do tortellini carbonara. <laughs> that we haven't had in a long time. And then because all the boys smell in the summer, my house is going to smell so much better with this Old Spice 4-in-1 Shampoo Body Wash body hair face and beard wash so it's gonna be smelling a lot better in this house and then because they're all shaving even my 14 year old had to start shaving I couldn't believe it just shoot me now um, I had to get Gillette Mach 3 turbo it was like $38 but you get I can't believe how expensive razors are um, $38 I think it was like $38.99 and you got 20 blades so hopefully that lasts them a while and then speaking of razors, I had to get myself some. I couldn't, this was like $24.99. You get 15 razors. I was like, crap. But I didn't feel like going to another store. You know, you could get like five bucks. You could get like, I think a dozen cheap razors and stuff like that. But this is where I was. So I got it. $24.99, 15. I hope the Venus is a good, you know, I mean, I see commercials, but I never tried them. So hopefully... They are good. And then $4.99, the organic tortilla chips for salsa and anything else you want to eat it with. I like crushing it in the taco bakes and stuff like that or on top of salads. So it's fun. We go through that a lot for $4.99. It's a good price for a big bag of tortilla chips and they're organic because corn is a huge GMO in the U.S. So that was my July, beginning of July haul. Um, I know 4th of July weekend is coming, and I hope you guys have a safe but fun 4th. Um, hopefully it's not a rain out. I'm not sure what my weather condition is going to be because it just poured. I was stuck in about over an hour traffic getting back home um, from Costco. So that's that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.